Hi, you guys. It is an exciting moment here. Um, we have the, I think, just shy of 90 swatches that Stylemaker Fabrics sent me to show you uh, what they will be bringing in for their spring collection. So I know a lot of us are going a little bit stir crazy with everything that is going on and the quarantining and the kids home from school, but hopefully this will give you a little bit of a break from all that and we can all just come together over one common love, that being awesome fabric. So without further ado, let me jump right in here because as we know, these videos can get a little long. Um, I'm going to be talking you through each of the fabrics, sort of what they feel like, their drape, um, and if projects kind of come to mind, I will uh, say those as well. And then if I start to see pairings of things that look really good together, then I will say that as well. So grab a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. Each one of these have a uh, item number or like a SKU number on them. So I'm gonna be calling those out, but sometimes I do forget to say it and I apologize, I'm only human. Um, but you can always pause the video and write down these numbers as we go if I do forget to say it, okay? so. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We've got the very first item being a embroidered clip dot in the color white. So this is exactly what it says, clip dot. So it's got sort of a sheer cotton background with all of these little dots all over it. And then embroidered, like, I don't know, it kind of looks like leaves. No, it's it's kind of floral, but kind of more fauna than than floral, um, which is really pretty. And of course, you can imagine this for spring in a lot of those like really pretty tiered um, dresses and skirts that we've been seeing from the big four, as well as those just lightweight, easy breezy dresses, and even a. Um, like a button down would be really cool out of this. And then you can layer up some different tank tops underneath and get a kind of like a different look. Um, so kind of like a really beautiful, exciting take on a basic. It's like white, but better. <laughs> and the number for this is 14587. This is the back. Hardly any stretch, as you can imagine. It's just 100% cotton, but the texture is really, really nice. All right, next, we're sticking with the white. This is a wide seersucker. Oh, that's cool. So we all know seersucker, right? This is a wider spaced um, seersucker in white, obviously. And something that I wanted to mention for all of the natural fibers that are in white, we've got these two and then a few other coming up, is the option to tie-dye. Have you guys seen how popular tie-dye has been becoming? I've seen it obviously on Project Runway. They had a whole segment on it on Home and Family. And I'm just seeing like all the little videos showing you how to do the different kinds of tie-dye. And I think this seersucker would be a beautiful application for that. So obviously you've got kind of like the lumpy bumpy texture of seersucker 100% cotton you know no stretch but a pretty good decent amount on the um cross grain or on the bias and it is kind yeah you guys can see it is see-through or at least at the very least it's um like semi-transparent not opaque by any means so you would definitely want to underline this that's also an option for this is just to get like a batiste or something like that and underline it and now you've got like a solid white. Um, but if you did the uh, tie dye or some kind of like indigo dye, I think this one would be okay to wear with the color added. I think it'll make it a little bit less sheer. This one I think would still be fairly sheer. So that's really pretty. Nice, good quality seersucker. If you've ever bought cheap seersucker, then you know that's not all created equal. Okay, one five, I'm sorry, one four five four zero. All right, next is a clip dot texture linen in white. 
and this is 100% linen. And as we know, since linen is a natural fiber, it's not going to be true, true white. Like you can see my background is true, true white. So is the seersucker and linen takes on its, its version of white, which is still a little bit natural, but it's got these really cool, like, I don't know, they look like parentheses kind of. And then in the middle of them is like this extra little stitching. And then these little things are like raised, like, like the threads are kind of torn. Can you see? Cool, huh? So it's kind of like a polka dot. If you can imagine this being bigger, it's like big polka dots and little polka dots and obviously kind of linear. So it would work, you know, kind of like a stripe where, you know, you could turn them this way on the bias, but those beautiful shirt dresses that we've been seeing, I think would be really great in this. Um, and as we all know, 100% linen is just like perfect um, for spring, summer, and even a natural color like this, you can take into fall as you layer it um, with different things, different like more fall like colors. I think you could really get a lot of wear out of all of these for um, a few months, not just the one. Okay, 14429 on the clip dot texture linen. Here's the back. Back is pretty smooth other than those little stitches. Okay, here's a textured double knit in winter white. So I would almost say that this linen is more of a winter white um, if you're comparing it against the true whites and then this what she's calling winter white. Uh, okay, textured double knit. This is very, very soft. First of all, I want to say that. And it's got almost like kind of how gauze looks, you know, with the texture and all the texture is running on the bias. So that's going to provide, you know, a really pretty asymmetrical or not asymmetrical, but diagonal kind of look. Like if you were to put this on a bodice with a center front seam, you would, this would work like a stripe would. It would just be tone on tone and not as in your face, but when you got up close, you could definitely see that there were stripes in it and stripes that are on the bias. So that's something really cool to keep in mind. Um, the back side looks like this. Again, super soft. You can kind of see the sheen on it a little bit, which is nice. Um, but I can imagine this in everything from like, I mean, it's pretty thin. It's, you know, you hear double knit and you automatically think, oh, that's going to be really heavy and hot. Um, but this one's relatively thin. You can see kind of how opaque it is there. Definitely okay, I think, to wear, um, especially if it's looser fitting. But I can imagine it any, in anything from like a turtleneck all the way to like a fit and flare dress, I think would be really cute. The Nico dress, um, which is like a turtle neck dress. I think that would be really pretty. Um, like I said, it's lightweight enough to be able to handle um, some of those types of patterns. But obviously, you know, your standard sweaters and t-shirt type patterns um, would also be really great out of this as well. All right, one, four, three, four, zero on this guy here. All right, next up, we've got botanical print clip dot in winter white. So this is our clip dot with this, oh gosh, what are those little, I almost want to call them dandelions. What are the things that you blow on and they go everywhere? Um, it looks like that kind of printed on. And I want to say it's, either very dark navy or black. Um, she doesn't have on here what it is, but she does say that the background is winter white and not true white. And you can see the difference possibly between those two. This one's slightly more yellowed, but I kind of love this little um, pop of print. Again, it's kind of going to be sporadic. I don't have a big enough piece to tell whether all of these are in line as they go down. I'm guessing yes, but I don't no, totally. And also something to point out is that they're kind of twisted around. Like they aren't all facing the same way. Like this one's turned a little bit this way. This one's a little bit this way. This one's this way. You know what I mean? So that's really cool as well. Um, it is very lightweight, very sheer, very soft, like very, very soft. Here's the back side. One, four, three, eight, nine on this. I mean, this is like really pretty. 
Can you see? It's like tissue. Very, very pretty. I almost want to say these two are similar in the this embroidery and this print. So if you just wanted something that stood out a little bit more. Very nice. Okay, this is embroidered cotton eyelet in oatmeal. So this is a cotton backing and then your embroidered parts and then your eyelet becomes part of the floral. So that's really fun. The eyelet isn't necessarily an all over eyelet pattern. It's kind of incorporated into the embroidery. So that's really, really neat. And if you're wondering what the heck winter white is, so if this is white, this is winter white, and this is oatmeal. So they just kind of get a little more yellow. Um, so yeah, cotton material. So it's pretty uh, stable, not stretchy at all. Even on the bias, there's not a ton of give. But again, with all of these, you're looking at lightweight, um, like patterns that are kind of flowy, patterns that are um, less structured. I mean, you could definitely make a button down shirt type of pattern out of any of these as well, but they also work really well with um, the drapier patterns as well. Anything with ruffles would be really good. I was trying to show you the drape on this. I mean, you can see it's just completely folding in on itself. Um, whereas this one is a little bit more structured, just a smidge. So the embroidery, I think, helps keep it together a little bit. One, four, five, three, nine on this. All right. And then we have gauze texture sweater knit in vanilla. So a gauze sweater knit. So you can see the, the weave is very loose. You can almost like see through it in a way. And, um, Yeah, not super stretchy. So for this, I would picture something like a cowl neck sweater, you know, something that would help with the drape or, sh you know, show off the drape, but, um, you know, obviously still be a sweater. You could obviously do a cardigan with it as well. Um, the cardigan would look really pretty actually over this if you wanted, I mean, those two are pretty much the same the same color. I don't know that I would do it with any of these true white whites just because it can look a little yellow, but there is something to be said for like a monochromatic kind of thing, you know, where you do like a winter white, you know, winter white pant with a white gauzy um, top and then a vanilla cardigan over it. You know, now you've got this whole like monochromatic look. So there's something to be said for that as well, but yeah, this is just a very lightweight, very drapey, gauzy sweater knit. One, four, three, four, four on that. So here are our collection of whites before we move on too, too far here. Really pretty. So happy for spring. Okay, next up. Oh, this is going to be a panel or a border. Okay, single border stripe. Soft washed linen blend in natural and terracotta. And this is a linen and cotton blend. So let us see what we've got here. Wow, okay, so <laughs> one end is all this natural color, right? Uh, cotton linen blend all the way down until you get to this little stripe here. And I think this is the right side. Um, so you've got the terracotta color and then this color here is, again, a very dark navy or even black. But I mean, how cool would this be as pants? Even elasticated pants, as much as I give those a bunch of flack, it's only because there's 45 different pattern options for them. <laughs> We only really need a couple of those, but um, to have this at the hem of your pants would be so pretty. Obviously the same with a dress. I kind of imagine it more as like a A-line dress or a shift dress, but you know, certainly a fit and flare this would work really well for as well. This is just really uh, versatile. You can make tons of things with a linen and cotton blend. So the texture feels a lot like linen does. Um, it is soft. 
um, but you can tell it has that stability from the cotton as well. So not a ton of stretch, even on the bias, not a ton of stretch, but if we take a look at the drape, you can see that it's just not very drapey at all. It's pretty structured, which is why I think a pant would be really good or kind of like a more um, structured dress or skirt or something like that. And because you have so much of it, I mean, this really only, gosh, what is that? Eight inches maybe of the border. You don't have to worry too, too much about pattern placement and pattern pieces and all of that because you've got so much of this that is just the regular plain linen. So I think you could have a lot of fun with this print just being on the, the one selvage. All right, 14428 on this. I'm gonna keep this separated because I want to find some matches for that. All right, next. Scatter dot rayon crepe in rose. How beautiful is this color, first and foremost? Um, it is kind of like a mauve rose and the scatter dot, I want to say is like more of a vanilla natural color. It is rayon crepe. So of course it's very soft, pretty lightweight, but not incredibly drapey. Can you see that? The crepe texture, I think is what keeps it from being super just like, boop, like this. Um, but yeah, of course you have that texture and you know, the rayon fibers are really soft and kind of like the little bit of structure that that provides. So these are great for all kinds of springy type dresses and tops and um, things like that. You can even do this in like a pant or a short, just know that it's gonna be really thin. <laughs> really kind of will, you know, tend to hug to any lines or creases or anything like that in your body. But I think it would look really pretty with this as a cardigan over top. Cause you can kind of still see the color through it, but this dot and this are pretty much a perfect match. So that's really nice. Okay, next up we have, oh, see, I already forgot the number. One, four, three, five, five on this. And then we have cotton, modal, no, cotton double gauze in rose. So the roses are pretty different. You know, this is more of a mauve rose. This is more of a purple rose, um, but it is a cotton double gauze. So double gauze is a single layer of gauze, but they stitch it together every so often to double up the layers of the gauze. Does that make sense? So that's literally what it is. Um, so it's, you know, pretty opaque because of that. Um, and it does provide like a texture, almost kind of like a quilted texture. You can see it really well right here um, because of all of those little stitches that are put in it. But gauze is a dream to work with. You can tell it's pretty structured. It is still lightweight, but it's just not very drapey at all. So it makes for great tops and pants and dresses and all of that kind of stuff. And the color is really nice. I think that if you are more of a cool tone person who everybody's been getting their colors done, um, this would look really pretty. One, four, 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 three on that. Now we have cotton modal jersey in rose. Oh, a modal, okay. Wow, okay, this is a modal jersey, also in rose. And now you can see we've got three different versions of rose. Coincidentally, or maybe not that coincidentally, they all look really pretty together. Um, but this is a super nice jersey. This would make a great t-shirt, like really, really good. Like something that you would find, I don't know, not like, not an inexpensive t-shirt, like one of those really, really nice ones. An Ann Taylor t-shirt, a Banana Republic t-shirt, something along those lines. Super soft, completely opaque, really good. One, four, six, two, two. I mean, I mean, how pretty is that? 
if you wanted to do like burn side bibs out of this and then a t-shirt out of this, that would be an exceptional looking outfit. I mean, these aren't a total match, but they are far enough away from each other, you know, that it would be like, they kind of go together. They don't matchy matchy, but they go together still. Yeah, this is really good. One, four, six, two, two, if I didn't say already. We've got another Swiss dot, soft clip dot in rose. I just, I'm gonna keep all of my roses out. So here is this rose. You can tell it's a little bit similar to this, um, but more pinky, more pink. And then it has your clip dot. So similar to this white one without the embroidery. Uh, it is um, sheer-ish. The color helps a lot, but you can definitely see through it. 100% cotton, no stretch. Um, the stretch on this guy is pretty good. Yeah, it's good, but not too much. You know what I mean? Um, what else to say about this? Same sort of, you know, uh, patterns as this guy. Cute little tops, dresses, but you would want to underline it with something. One, four, five, eight, two on this number. Pretty, I love all these colors. Rose, I'm here for you. All right, next up, moving on to another seersucker. This is pink and white. I don't know about you. I mean, I live in the South. So seersucker for us is like one of the first things I ever sewed with. So I've seen it in every color under the sun, um, including pink. <laughs> but this is like a bubblegum pink. So there's that. And then, uh, did I lose my wide seersucker? Oh no, here it is. So you can kind of tell the difference between the wide versus not wide. <laughs> Um, texture wise, this one's also a lot less textured. This one feels more just like a cotton shirting. And that's the kind of things that you would use, that you would sew with it. Anything that you would use a shirting on, you could use this on. And obviously too, you can have a lot of fun with the strike placement. Um, so I know there's been a couple of dresses that I've mentioned in the, uh, pattern reviews where it's like, oh, that would be really cool if you did the strike this way or whatever. Um, seersucker is a great option for that. One, four, three, seven, five. Cotton, seersucker, in pink and white, yes. All right, this is called Soft Wash Linen Blend in Coral. This is a linen and cotton blend, so similar to this. That's pretty too, um, but because these are like samesies, I don't know about like the reason why I liked this for a t-shirt under the bibs is because you would wanna wear something kind of close fitting under the bibs. This would not be very close fitting, but the color is exceptional. And anything that you were thinking about making this out of, you could totally make out of this as well. The color is like, gosh, it's um, pink. It's like if pink and ivory had a baby. Um, that is what it would be. It's really, really pretty. Here's it with that sweater knit. So pretty, these two together, the vanilla sweater knit and this um, linen blend. She's calling the color coral. I get that. I can get how she would call it coral, but kind of like a looser weave uh, linen, slightly. I mean, similar to this, I guess. Maybe, maybe a little bit looser, um, but the color is really, really pretty. And it's coming across true on the screen from what I can see. Really pretty. Pants, dresses, tops, super cute. Okay, our first like print print, I feel like. This is Romantic Floral Rayon Crepe in Fuchsia and Coral. Romantic, okay, I'm here for the romance. Uh, it is, like I said, rayon crepe, so it's very soft, very lightweight, but has that crepe texture to it. A little bit more structure than maybe you're used to with rayon, which I kind of find to be really nice. Like, I just enjoy that. Um, but this is the other rayon crepe. Um, and I'll say this one's softer for sure. Well, I don't know. Depends on which way you're... 
they're probably about the same. But the color is so pretty. And let me try and see if I can find, like if you made a top from this, you could wear your pants. That would be kind of playing off these colors in here. Of course, the background is white. So you can make a dress from this. And then, um, gosh, I was trying to think of like a, maybe a cardigan. I don't know, this double knit might be a little strange out of a cardigan. A layering piece to go underneath your dress. Or if you made a skirt from this and a top from that, that would be really pretty. Skirt from this and honestly, any of these tops would be pretty. Because it is pretty much a true white background. And maybe we'll get into some fuchsias and some greens and stuff that might um, pair well with this as well. But yeah, really pretty rayon crepe. Pretty colors. One, four, three, five, six on this guy. And we'll keep him out um, for you to see later if anything else pops up. Okay, here is a slub textured cotton shirting in magenta. So, okay. Yeah, can you see the stripe almost that is in that? That is really cool. Yeah, and the color, I mean, it is pretty magenta. I don't know that I like these two things together, but um, yeah, the color is really, really pretty and it's soft, like very soft. And I can't imagine what it would be like after you pre-washed it even softer. Um, not a lot of structure. I mean, not a lot of drape at all. It's very structured, as you can see. Uh, sheerness wise, it's fairly opaque. I mean, I've got a big, bright, it'd be like if the sun was directly on you. <laughs> um, so don't think that just because you can see my hand through it, that means that just walking out on a normal day um, is going to be this see-through. But yeah, pretty opaque. But the, the, the feel of it, the hand feel is so nice. One, four, four, zero, one. And this is pretty much white. So, you know, any of these whites that I pointed out before would look really good with it. Pleated skirt, some kind of pant, shorts. Very lightweight though. Lightweight, but structured. Kind of the theme so far. All right, this one's really fun. This is variegated rainbow striped jersey knit. And again, I don't know about you, but like everybody's doing a rainbow something, like rainbow's having a thing. Um, so this one has your rainbow, but it also has these kind of like mauve -y colors, pink, mauve, and like this darker, not quite eggplant, um, but it's super cute. So this would obviously make for a really great t-shirt. Um, this is a jersey knit, so looser weave than the solid that we had, this one, um, but not by much. I mean, not by much at all. Yeah, pretty close. Um, these together, I don't know what you'd be making. I guess a cardigan from this. Um, this with these as pants. Hmm. No, not really loving any of these as options. Those are pretty together. Yeah, these are pretty together for sure. But this is also just great with blue jeans, you know what I mean? Blue jeans, maybe like a white linen pant. Did we get? No. I mean, maybe some shorts from that with the white background. That could be cute. Yeah, the print is just really fun. Okay, next we have watercolor floral rayon poplin. And a not so big secret about me is that rayon poplin is my absolute favorite fabric to sew from. I don't sew with it very often because I think it's not hard to find. It's just never really coming to my attention <laughs> for one reason or another. Um, but rayon poplin is like if rayon chali and cotton shirting had a baby. So everything that's lovely about rayon, it being super, super soft and lightweight, but with the structure of more of like a cotton. 
and you can almost feel the structure in it too. Like you can't really get that noise from 100% rayon. I don't know. It just feels more stable. It's a lot easier to sew with, a lot easier to cut. It's like way less shifty um, when you're cutting it and sewing it. So it's easier to sew with. If you're just getting into rayons, try a rayon poplin. Um, what else to say about this one? The colors are exceptional. We've got vibrant magenta, bright green, bright blue. Um, there's a lot going on. They've even got a little bit of vanilla in here. So if you wanted to tone it down a little bit, obviously you could pair that with it, but all the colors would show through. So I don't know if that's your jam or not, but so far, not a ton of bottoms. This is just so bright. I want to save that for um, something equally as vibrant. So we'll put this to the side. Oh, one, four, five, seven, nine on this. Um, did I give you this one? One, four, three, three, eight on the magenta. I mean, on the, um, rainbow. Okay. Next we have gauze texture sweater knit in pink. So this is the exact same thing as this, but in pink. So you can see what it looks like next to this guy and much prettier with this, I think. This is too muted for this, but these two together are beautiful. So everything that you love about what I said about this guy also apply to this. It just has this really pretty pink color. One, four, three, four, six. And if you liked this rayon um, crepe, <laughs> then these look beautiful together. Really, really beautiful. Dress and a cardigan, um, a top with a skirt. You know, people have been doing those like flowy skirts and then like kind of like an oversized sweater tucked in. Stunning. That would look so adorable. If I won the lottery, um, all these ideas that I give you guys, <laughs> that's what I would spend all my money on. And this would be one of those outfits for sure. And then I'd hire a bunch of people to help me sew it because there wouldn't be enough time in the day to sew it either. All right, I'm going to keep these out. All right, next we have um, soft wash linen in blush pink. 100% linen, soft wash linen. Isn't that the same as, yeah, soft wash linen in coral. Was that this one for... Yeah, okay, so same as this, but in the color blush pink. And this blush pink actually looks a little bit more, it's like a deep mauve. So, like it looks pretty with these colors. Um, if you wanted to make that into a top and then pair some pants or a jacket, Again, I think it's going to be too muted for this. Yeah. Um, that's kind of a fun tone on tone situation happening. Monochromatic. But yeah, same as this, just in a different colorway. This colorway was called Coral, and this is called Blush Pink. Okay. Keep those off to the side. We also have slub tech, no, what do we have? Soft washed tensel twill in coral. And this one was one, four, 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 four. This tensel twill is one, four, five, two, three, before I forget. And if you have not experienced tensel twill yet, you haven't lived. Um, tensel twill is a beautiful fabric. So tensel is a like branded version of rayon. So like it's the Band-Aid brand to the, I don't know, what is the generic term for Band-Aids? Um, it's like, <laughs> okay, let's go back. It's like if, oh shoot, I can't think of any of the um, home brands for Target or Walmart, but if the store brand is rayon, then like, Clorox. Okay, okay, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Rayon is to bleach as Tencel is to Clorox, okay? 
I know I'm like bringing y'all back to the SATs or something, but that's, that's what it is. Um, okay. So when you see Tencel, just know that it's like a branded version of Rayon. And then Twill is what jeans are made from. So imagine those two things mixed together and that's what you have here. So it's very soft. This washed, uh, soft washed element of it also makes it a little bit softer, not brushed, but it's definitely soft and a little bit drapier, obviously, than your, you know, jeans, but kind of like a chambray-ish type of thing. Um, though twill weave is woven in a way that makes this a very densely woven fabric, but the fibers, the tensile that go into it are very soft. So it's, you know, that combination. Either way, this makes for really, really exceptional pants. They provide just a beautiful drape. The coral pants that I made last year for Stylemaker Fabrics um, Spring Tour, the high-waisted Vogue coral pants, um, was made from a tinsel twill. But I also have like a trench coat made from olive green tinsel twill. So this is a really great fabric that can be used for a ton of different things. It is more of a mid-weight fabric, but it is still lightweight and, you know, relatively drapey for what it is. Of course, not as drapey as like a rayon poplin or a uh, rayon, Go what is this again? <laughs> rayon um, crepe, but for what it is, it's still really nice. So it's going to be pretty structured, but still drapey. Let's look at colors. These are beautiful. So if you wanted to make this out of a top, this matches this little color in here. And then you could put your cardigan over top and you've got a fun, cute little pinky spring outfit. And then one more idea would be to do t-shirt and pants. Cause this kind of calls on this. I'm almost just ignoring this rainbow stripe. That's just kind of like an accent. This is really what I'm trying to pair it with. So, Tencel Twill, try it if you haven't. I'm sure there's gonna be other colors coming up. They usually have a ton of colors available, so try it out. Okay, next we have Slub Textured Cotton Shirting in Coral, which is the same as this. So this was magenta and this is coral, okay? And then, so like this colorway is calling more to that. And this color, this section of this print is more toward this. Cool. So again, all the wonderful qualities about this fabric, super soft, super lightweight, not super drapey, but just the hand feel is exceptional on this. You just, you just wanna like pet it. <laughs> One, four, three, nine, nine. Again, this is the coral color and this is the magenta color. Okay. This is Poppy Floral Stretch Sateen. This is fun. I love stretch sateen. This is probably my second favorite fabric to sew with. A lot of my like fit and flare dresses, the um, Royal Wedding Sew Along dresses that I made were both made from a cotton sateen. This is a lighter weight sateen, which is nice. They can come in, in different weights, but you can see that a little bit of the shine that is on there. And it's got a very bold print. I mean, this is this is a very, whereas this is like watercolor and more like muted, this is, you know, bold. And then these colors are really cool too. Um, this doesn't really go. And that doesn't really go. That's okay. I just don't know. I mean, sateen is really great as like a bottom weight or like a fit and flare dress. And you wouldn't, I mean, I guess you could make like a lightweight pullover coat, shirt coat thing, shirt layer, um, and that would look okay. But this this would be really pretty, kind of as its own moment as well. You could also use this to make a little top to go with it. It's a little bit, like this is a little wider, a little bit, but cute. Okay, this is soft wash linen and terracotta. So these are other soft washed linens. I mean, are we gonna have a moment where you're gonna 
color block all of these because that so far would be so pretty. Terracotta. Oh, God. Um, coral and blush pink. Am I getting this right? No. This is blush pink and... This is, I hope y'all wrote these down. This is coral, 4439, yeah. Coral, blush pink, terracotta. I have the worst short-term memory, so I'm probably gonna keep forgetting that over and over again, but y'all will help keep me in line. So again, all the wonderful things about, that I already said about this fabric, but in this really pretty terracotta, terracotta color. So the terracotta is more of like a neutral I don't have a lot of stuff like this because it's just so close to my skin tone. I know that Kim Kardashian does that a lot. I just, I don't know if I want to look like Kim Kardashian. But look at this. I forgot all about this guy over here. Yeah, that's pretty. So if you did either this at the top, these would look good together. Or if you did, you know, the stripe at the bottom and then put this up top with the vanilla. Um, almost as, again, like one of those like over shirt type of things. Or you could do like a um, willow tank, kind of like a boxy tank with this and then some pants out of this. That would be fun. So this is just more of a dense version of this. I mean, they're pretty close. Not exact, obviously, but cute. Okay, keep those over here. Okay, now we have this really cool eyelet, embroidered cotton eyelet in coral. It is exactly what it sounds like. And I know it sounds like I'm in London. There's this one medic service that uses that um, siren. And every single time they drive by, I feel like I'm in a James Bond movie. Like, I, we don't hear that siren in America very often. So, or at least nowhere that I've, that I've ever lived. Okay, anyways, so we've got our coral embroidered cotton eyelet, 14433 on this. And the color is really nice. It's not coral, like, I almost think of this as coral. This is more of like a muted, um, kind of washed out, version of coral like a lot of my makeup blush a lot of my blushes look like this color um oh that's pretty but uh okay so cotton eyelet so cotton base and then all these eyelets so you know it's textured it's, it's pretty structured you know no stretch there's a little bit but that's mostly coming from the holes of the eyelet so just keep that in mind um you know eyelet shirts you can make eyelet dresses you would need to find some kind of like under layer and for all these that you want like a matchy matchy i would reach out to style maker fabrics and see if they can make some suggestions she'd probably try and send you some pictures or some options from the website um but contrast could be really cool too you know like i just i mean this weight isn't right but like if you did those two colors on top of each other that would be a really pretty under layer so reach out to them and see if they have any options because there could be some really pretty stuff. Okay, yeah, 14433 on that. And then now we have rayon jersey knit in coral. And didn't we have another, isn't this also a rayon jersey knit? Oh no, this was modal jersey, okay. And modal is also a version of rayon. So now I'm wondering if that was just, she typed it in differently, I don't know. They feel a lot alike, like a lot, a lot alike. So I'm gonna say they're very similar. Yeah, they feel a lot alike. I love this color. This is coral um, and she was calling this one rose. So here's with our coral again. And yeah, this quality of these jersey knits are just really something else. Really, really good. T-shirt tucked into a skirt, totally. I mean, if you made this into a skirt, mm, not quite. But yeah, these just feel so good. Like I want all the T-shirts out of this. 
one, four, five, six, nine on this guy. Next up, we have modeled, M-O-T-T-L-E-D, modeled floral linen blend coral. And this is a rayon linen blend where the others have been, like this one was cotton and linen. This is rayon and linen. So yeah, it definitely has that like silky texture to it. I don't know what modeled means, M-O-T-T-L-E-D, floral linen. But I do know that the colors are really pretty. And I guess it's just like watercolor washed out even more is kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. But you've got beautiful oranges and some green and some of our vanilla is coming back. You've even got gray and some dark, dark browns. This gray is almost reading a little bit like this, um, oh, I can't remember what she called it, but this purpley one, uh, 14622. Um, it kind of looks really good with that. And then this is probably too pink. This has a lot of orange in it. So maybe we'll get to an orange one. Maybe not. 14161 on this rayon linen. And if you like linen, you are going to love this one. Still has the wrinkle factor of linen. And I'm sure some of this, um, like will wash away because you know that's kind of how linen works but um yeah it's kind of actually pretty hefty it's it's a good mid-weight linen for sure whereas some of these other ones um like this linen cotton blend is certainly a little bit lighter weight not that this is lightweight just lighter than this relatively speaking cool all right next we have Slub Textured Linen Blend in Terracotta. And this is again a rayon linen. We've talked about slub textured cotton shirtings before, like this. But this is Slub Textured Linen Blend in Terracotta. I don't think we've had a slub textured linen blend yet. So, okay. Um, this is rayon and linen so same as the last one but a lot lighter weight um and significantly more drapey as well well i say significantly but can you see the difference this is just basically falling flat and this one actually has some bolt folds and bends in the fabric uh the color is what did they call this terracotta so we've had a few terracotta situations happening, this one being one of them. So this is kind of all living in the same brown family. I can't say that I've ever done a swatch video with so many browns and like earth tones. Like all of this is giving me strong earth tone vibes, which is, which is good. That looks pretty, right? I don't know, maybe I should try a Kim Kardashian tone on tone matching your skin color. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 14590 on this. Super soft. It does have a little bit of a texture to it. Like the description says it's a little bit slubby, nubby, but not hard. Not like Swiss dot. It's not as pronounced as that. It's much more smooth than that. But the drape is what's really great. So this is good for everything from tops to dresses to pants, jackets. I mean, you can make anything with this. It's fairly opaque. So you're good to go on that front. Okay, this one is Rococo. <laughs> R-O-C-O-C-O. -C -O -C -O. Rococo Floral Rayon Crepe in Lavender and Coral. Look at these colors. Rayon Crepe. Okay, so similar, probably almost exactly to this. Um, and look at all these fun colors. Okay, so let me just call out some things that would work well with it. Well, the next one will, but we won't go there just yet. This is too pink. This vanilla, I mean, this is pretty much a neutral, so it looks good with everything. That's kind of like cheating. Um, this guy, too pink. Yeah, we need some more orangey type colors. The one I just showed would be pretty. That's nice, calling out like this little area here. Um, so if you wanna make a top and some pants, that would be really pretty. But there's also like this whole blue situation happening too. 
So if you have like blues and purples and teal, if you've got like a teal, maybe we'll come across some of that coming up. Um, that would look really good. But this background being this like lavender is really nice, very unique. So it is pretty sheer, very lightweight, but the print is so beautiful, right? Here's the back side, 14369. Lightweight, super drapey, very nice. Okay, this is the same gauze textured sweater knit as this and this. This is in, you guessed it, terracotta. And I thought that that looked really good as like a cardigan to kind of go over. Yeah, same, same reason why this terracotta looked so good with it. The earth tones for sure. One, four, three, four, three on the terracotta gauze sweater knit. And again, these sweater knits are so good for um, obviously sweaters, but lightweight cardigans, even like a t-shirt type of pattern would be good. Anything with a cowl neck because it does have a little bit of drape to it. That would be really pretty. Very tuckable, <laughs> tuck inable. Okay, this one is called Watercolor Floral Rayon Jersey in Aqua and Coral. How pretty is that? I love like the line prints that we see where it's like a line drawing and then they fill it in with watercolor. I think that's so, so, so pretty. And again, you've got like periwinkle coming in here. You've got like a light orange, hot pink, teal. You've got a lot going on color-wise here. Hmm. Um, maybe back to our earth tones again? No. Although this one. This is a rayon jersey. Rayon jersey. So this is... Um, unlike these that have a little bit more, like the weave is a little bit tighter, this is a looser weave jersey. So this is like a lighter weight t-shirt material. If you like that about your t-shirt, I prefer a structured, more structured, um, like full bodied, like not super clingy, lightweight, drapey t-shirt. I like one with a little bit more heft to it. But if you like those tissue weight t-shirts, then that's what this is here. And like I said, the print is just so cool and so pretty. One, four, five, nine, five. Obviously, we've got this happening. Maybe even this one. I already tried that one. This is the cotton. Too corally with the pink. Yeah, I bet when we get to a teal, that is going to really shine. Okay, we've got another dot soft clip dot. This one's in salmon. Sorry, I'm coming. This one's in salmon. So we had our rose. We've got our salmon. Salmon's looking a lot like terracotta, if I'm being honest. It's like a little bit more, a little bit redder, but definitely in the family. So many earth tones. Those are pretty together. T-shirt and, I mean, you could do a Swiss dot skirt for sure. Um, 14583, again, 100% cotton, got the little, you know, shredded threads, clip dot, in salmon. Where'd the other one go? I already lost it. There it is. <laughs> okay, this one's really cool. This is watercolor floral rayon poplin in emerald and coral. So, you guys know I love the rayon poplin. This is was the first one, and this is the second one. Look at how beautiful this emerald green color is. We've also got the teal happening. We've got the magentas and the pinks, even like reds and purples happening over here. This one is really, really nice. I don't think we've had anything this pink. Yeah, this looks really good. But other than that, we haven't really had a whole lot of like pinks and magentas. I think one of these was called magenta. That's pretty, if you wanted to do a top and a pant, that's really pretty together. This color though, this like burnt orange, I'm obsessed with that color. That's really, really pretty. But here are two rayon poplins if you're looking to like choose from them. Similar, right, but different. 
This one is 14580. Okay. This is rayon jersey knit in mustard. Look how pretty that color is. Certainly don't see this every day. Again, this is just like these other ones that I'm obsessed with. So pretty. I love all these colors together for sure. Um, nothing to really pair with the mustard just yet. Mustard's a very specific color. Um, but I mean, I guess like our neutrals, I don't know. I just, I mean, this fabric is just so, so nice. I'm waiting to see all the colors before I pick which one I'm going to make my next t-shirt out of. One, four, five, six, eight. Love this. This is the, oh, slub textured cotton shirting. So the same as these, but this is called lime. Lime, L-I-M-E, like lime green. How cool is that? Lime green, one, four, three, nine, eight. I love a lime green. Love a lime green. Pretty with either one of these from this and then this, right? Button down shirt out of this and like a pretty skirt out of either one of these or like an over shirt and a dress. Um, you could even do a top and make shorts out of this. You would just definitely need to underline it with something. Cool, huh? I just love the stripe and the sheen and it's really cool. One, four, three, nine, eight. Okay. Then we have our gauze texture sweater knit in citron. Another word for lime, like citrus, citron. So we've got this one, this one, this one, and this one so far. Isn't that cool? This color is everything right now. And just for comparison, this is what mustard looks like. Citron is definitely more of like a lime green. Um, bright, chartreuse, you know, that kind of thing. So of course it still looks good with these too. Calling in those greens for sure. Really pretty. Fun. Okay. Keep all these close by as we keep bringing up different ways to layer. And then our next one is soft wash linen and avocado. This is 100% linen. Avocado color is really great. It's like the citron, but muted. So if you wanted to do a linen pant and a top, you could totally do that here. Um, it even works well with calling out the greens in this one. Um, but here are its other friends that we've already talked about. Right? Beautiful. What about this one? No, not so much yet for that guy. But, yeah, really pretty color. This would make a great, um like, oh God, what is that Megan Nielsen dress with the asymmetrical hem? I keep wanting to say dove, but I know that's not right. But that would make a pretty version of that for sure. Or pants or um, bibs, the Burnside bib overalls. And then if you wanted to do some t-shirts underneath those that had like contrasting elements, I mean, pink and green are compliments, so those would always look good together. These look great together. This is more of a um, monochromatic look. And then your mustard. Well, <laughs> your mustard's kind of its own special thing. I think mustard looks best with blue, personally, but that's just me. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these washed linens together. And also, I kind of want to point out that if you did make a dress, we've kind of got a theme going with the slub knits as well. Do you see how that's all coming together? So that could be really cool and fun too, to do outfits out of these. All right. 
Okay, next up we have, oh, this is pretty, um, another modeled, mo modeled? Floral Linen Blend in blue, and this is rayon and linen blended together. So just like this, but in this colorway. So we've got the deep navies and the light blues and the middle mid-tone blues. Same thing with all the greens. Kind of like a take on camo, a little, little bit, right? Um, we haven't had any olive green, but I'm sure you've made a ton of olive green and or navy staples, t-shirts, cardigans, things like that. That's what would look great with this. This one is 14160. All right. Cool. And I just want to say, too, if I'm forgetting any of the numbers, I will put a, a link to a document. I'm going in order of the document, and I'm saying the exact, like, name of the fabric so you could search for that if I do forget a number. I know I'm not very good at that, but check the description box if you want to see that. Okay, stone textured stretch sateen in olive and aqua. So this is, this is our first sateen, which I remember I told you was like really lightweight for a sateen and I was really kind of surprised. That's because this is more what I'm used to. This almost feels like a scuba um, and you can see how much stretch is in there, right? I mean, that's a lot more than than this. This only has this much. So this is a very lightweight sateen. This is a definitely a more mid to heavyweight um, sateen. Stone texture uh, 14353 is the number on this one. And yeah, it looks like, you know, marble or granite or some kind of countertop. Agat agate? Ag agate? Agate. Um, agate type stone. And it has beautiful like blue veining, but also greens and golds. For what it's worth, it kind of looks like a little mustardy. So that's really pretty together. If you really love the mustard, this is definitely the same colorway in there. Yeah, really nice. One, four, three, five, three again. Where did I just put the other one? I lost it. Oh, here she is. Okay, now we have another clip dot. This one is sea glass. So we've had quite a few clip dots. Um, at this point, we've had these two. Pretty, I love them all together. These muted spring colors are really, really exciting. Really exciting. Okay, so this is what she's calling sea glass. Um, and that is beautiful. And see what I mean about mustard and blue, blue greens together? They really, they really get along really well. Um, but yeah, so cotton clip dot 14581 in sea glass. I love that color, the name of that color. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in this colorway coming up. This is the soft wash linen in sea glass. So here we go, right? Who wants to color block? This is how you do it. Same fabric, different colors. They all go together. It's beautiful. The aqua, what are they calling this? Aqua? No, another sea glass. 100% linen. 13861 on this. And then I'm not going to go far with that, I don't think, because next up we have that same double gauze that we had in, it was like a pinkish color. Oh no, yeah, this rose. Same thing. This one is just in the sea glass, no, teal. She's calling this teal, teal double gauze, cotton. Uh, 14442, so same wonderful things about that rose. And then I remember wanting some teals to go with this or that's really pretty together. And for what it's worth, I also love teal or sea glass and terracotta. So pretty, right? Same with this one. So lots of really good options to pair color-wise. 
But again, because they're all kind of muted, they're all like wanting to like jive together, which I love. That makes for a great little wardrobe building situation. All right, this is our um, slub textured cotton shirting. This color is called Jade. And again, we've got a bit of a theme happening. If you wanna take our um, slub textured linens and put them alongside our slub textured cotton shirtings, this is what you get. Okay, again, this color is called, I'm sorry, this color is called Jade, Jade Green. The number is 14400. Okay. Next, we have spring floral textured stripe shirting. How interesting is this? Okay, so it's a very lightweight, almost like gauze type of weight, but without the texture. Um, and then it has this almost like ribbon. Okay, yeah, you can see it really well. Thin, I mean thick and then thin little ribbons going all the way through. And then on top of that is this printed floral motif, which is beautiful because look, it has all of our like sea glass and our like either light navy or teal, however you wanna look at it. Um, purples and oranges and here's that beautiful citron color so honestly like a lot of these would look really good I wish we had a purple purple purples come up toward the end so I'll keep this close by but that is just so interesting to me I would just put like a white tank top on underneath it and have like a really cute little top I love the little, it's not ditzy, but I love the thin, you know, dainty kind of floral print versus these that are like, boom, like so big and oversized. This one's really nice how like delicate it is. Okay. One, four, three, nine, zero. Like, yeah, no drape, no stretch, just, you know, a cotton, good cotton shirting. It's just very lightweight. Pretty. Okay, we've now got a sweater knit, gauze sweater knit in aqua. So now our sweater knit collection looks like this. Isn't this fun? And remember I showed you all of the um, linens before, so now you've got one to go with the jade. Same thing with this. Was this called Jade too? I can't remember. This is the slub cotton shirting. Pretty. Okay, this one is 14342. Again, Aqua. Aqua. All right. There is a little bit of Aqua in this. You know, these little guys. That's really pretty together. All right. Let me everything organized all right look at this fun one this is floral outline printed mesh knit so it is so cool let me find a good contrasting color can you see the pink coming through that yeah 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 okay look how cool that is oh so neat okay so this has got this mesh backing and then this I don't know what's put on top of it it's she's just saying a floral outline printed mesh knit so it's kind of like an eyelet before they cut all the holes out but it's not embroidered it's like I don't know if it's let's try and take this apart that's the beauty about swatches is you can really like tear them up I don't think this is gonna come apart though not that way, maybe the other way. No, it's not. It is really cool though. So it's pretty heavy um, and not super stretchy. So when she says knit, well, I guess the more you tug on it, you can really get it to stretch, but the recovery is actually pretty good. 
yeah, it, it ends up going back eventually. So this I think would be a really cool, like fit and flare dress. You would just have to find the right um, underlining for it. Like you could match this little minty color or you could obviously just do white and then it kind of just disappears. It's really cool. And these look like, I don't know, flowers. Yeah, she said floral, so I guess they are flowers. Uh, one, three, eight, three, three on this. That is a really fun novelty fabric, novelty print, you know, really fun. This one's beautiful. This one is burst floral linen shirting and sea glass, right? I mean, how pretty is that? And it's a linen. I can tell there's a lot of stabilizer on this. So once you wash it, um, it won't feel so, it won't be so stiff right now. It has like, <laughs> like it's paper, like it doesn't want to go anywhere, but whenever you wash it, all that washes away and I bet it's super, super soft, but you've got the white, you've got the sea glass, you've got the Navy, all really, really beautiful. Let's see how close of a match. Not quite. Not quite. No, no. And this one looks the best, honestly, this gauze. So if you wanted to make like a linen skirt and make a top or vice versa, or a double gauze cardigan over this, that would be really pretty. But yeah, floral burst, she's calling this. So, you know, no stretch. And kind of a looser weave for a linen, especially since we've been doing some like rayon linens and things like that. Um, this one's a little bit more sheer. There's the back because it's printed on. So the color's all on one side. One, three, eight, seven, five. And again, you have to kind of imagine 100% linen happening with this. Pretty though. Okay, this is another one of the Tencel Twills, soft washed Tencel Twill in aqua. So here are two Tencel Twill colors. This aqua color is really beautiful. It probably isn't something that I would have stopped and looked at initially, but seeing it in person, it's very wearable. Do you know what I mean? How aqua can be like bright, but this isn't, this is, it's like a better version of navy. I don't know, like obviously you can't swap everything out. You know, whatever you wear with jeans, you can wear with this. I don't know that that applies, but it's definitely a very beautiful color. It wants to be that, but it's not. Let's see if we've got anything else in this family. No, not really. So right now it kind of lives on its own. One, four, five, two, five. And I will keep these together. Okay, next up we have floral outline, stretch sateen in teal and coral. Teal and, no, oh, teal and charcoal. Sorry, I can't read. I was like, that's not coral. So this is more like this one. You know, not super stretchy like this one. So it's got these like fun line drawings, vanilla background, it's like a purplish gray, black background, and then you've got your teal and your aqua happening here. But this is like the bright aqua that, that I was referring to. So can you tell the difference between those two? This is like green, green, and like bright. Whereas this is just really beautiful. This, um, I don't know how big this part of the flower ends up being, but that looks really good together. And I love stretch sateen. Again, you can kind of see that um, finish on it, slight sheen to it, and it's got just enough stretch that makes it really comfortable for pants and dresses and shorts and uh, pencil skirts, things like that. One, four, five, two, seven on the stretch sateen. Now we have a single border stripe wash linen blend in sea glass and teal and oh my gosh. Okay, so it's this sister, but these are the colors. Cool, huh? 
I mean, personally, I kind of like this one better because I like the three very different colors. These are kind of similar to each other, but it is really, really pretty. And here are our, this was our sea glass linen, slug linen. It's more blue, which we don't have a lot of blues yet. So we'll keep this one close by, but yeah, here's the sister the, to this. And the number is one, four, four, three, eight. So cool. I love that there's two options of that. Whoop. All right, now we've got a shirting, window pane check cotton shirting in blue and white. Very traditional, very classic. Cotton shirting, it's like good quality. You know, like when you go to like Brooks Brothers or whatever, that's what you're gonna find here. So obviously a crisp, Clean, button down would be great out of this or anything that you want, like cotton structure, you know, all of that. One, four, three, seven, eight. Yeah, this would be really cute, especially if you did like ruffles or you played with the bias cut of it. You could have a lot of fun with something like this, even though it's pretty, I don't want to say basic, but basic. Then we have a slub textured stripe rayon shirting in blue and white. So again, it's got the same slub texture as like our cotton here, except this one also has rayon in it. But it's super soft, like it's a notable. Well, this is a really soft cotton, <laughs> but it's very, very soft hand, very soft little bit of drape to it. There probably will be more whenever you wash it and wash away any stabilizer. But the colors in it are really cool. It's got, I think this is navy and light blue. And I like how the stripes are. Like I like wider stripe variegation, variety in the stripes. I like that a lot when it comes to striped stuff. I don't love stripes when they're even placed. The only difference would probably be Cedar Sucker. But like even this stripe, how they're variegated, I like that. And the colors in this are beautiful and easy for anybody to wear. Like anybody can wear these colors, which is also really cool. Yeah, beautiful dresses, tops. I mean, it is a, it's not super see-through. So if your dress or your pants were um, looser fitting, you would be just fine. Just fine. But, you know underline it if you want. One, four, three, nine, four. I guess it just depends on how comfortable with your level of sheerness. This would be okay for me, I think. All right, now we have, speaking of seersucker, we have the blue version, cotton seersucker, blue and white. One, four, three, seven, four. Okay, so blue and pink. <laughs> I'm trying not to make any comments about gender here because that's not how the world works anymore. And I agree with that actually. Anybody should be able to wear whatever color they want. Okay, this is, speaking of variegated stripes, variegated stripe linen blend in blue. And this is a linen cotton blend. So this is very soft, looser weave, Again, with the stabilizer they put on linens, but you can kind of see what it wants to do. Um, and then, yeah, with the variegated stripes, you've got medium ones, large ones, medium ones, and then little itty bitty ones too, which is good. Let's see how these would be together. If you wanted to like, col I don't know, not color block, but like print mix, that could be cool. I mean, that would be cool. Come on, somebody, live life on the edge. Do some print mixing with the um, shirting and the linen. Shorts and a top, come on, come on, somebody, please. Are, are y'all gonna make me do it? I'll do it, that's fine, that's fine. But I want somebody to enjoy the fun with me too. 
I'm gonna start a GoFundMe for all these crazy ideas I have. Okay. Oh, the number, I don't know if I, what number I've told you last. These are the numbers of the last three, I think. 14394 on this stripe, 14620 on the variegated stripe, and 14378 on the box window pane. Oh, that is just too much to handle. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't need any of you guys. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Okay, this is one I've actually seen, but I loved the first time I saw it. This is floral mix, floral print mix cotton lawn in blue, white, and coral. So you've got your blue and white stripe, and then you've got this really cool, fun, dynamic print set on top of it. And you've got your jade green, you've got kind of like your mustard yellow, your hot pink, your rose, so, I mean, yeah, we can pair the Tencel Twill or this Tencel Twill. Mm, no, not so much. Um, we can do some of the, hmm, let me find some good ones. Some of the linens. No, these are all muted. See, these colors are a little bit brighter. But that looks pretty good, you know over top this one i think will bright enough yep so you've got some options there this one is one four five oh four it's very sheer for a shirting is that what this is oh lawn cotton lawn so yeah it's it's what you'd expect from a lawn um no stretch lightweight it's got some stabilizer on it but um a little bit drapey, not much. Cotton lawn. Okay. Now we've got, oh, I see it happening again. Okay. This is mini gingham check cotton shirting. So shirting just like this. Okay. And then you have also going to skip ahead of the next one, plaid check cotton shirting in blue and navy. And I mean, again, if you made a, I love this one together. If you, these are the exact same color, this and this, these are not the exact same colors, but these right through here, this blue and this blue are the exact same. So you could do a shirt dress and do like this for the, remember my gingham, mixed print gingham? It's a very similar situation happening, but you could do it with plaids and window panes. I mean, if you wanted to bring in seersucker, it's not the exact same weight, so I probably wouldn't do that, but you could have a lot of fun mixing these two together. And then if you wanted to bring in this one, no, I still like this best because these colors are like the exact same. So you can have a lot of fun with these shirtings and all of this, even though they're just blue and white and you might think, oh, that's just so ordinary. But because we sew our own clothes, we can do whatever we want with them. You know what I mean? Okay, so again, this one, the mini gingham is 14377 and this is 14379. Yep. So fun love those. Okay, next we have rayon jersey knit in blue. And I think that this is the same as these. They're just getting different names. Let me make sure. Yeah, they're all feeling very similar to me. So there's our Microsoft. <laughs> I don't remember what order they go in, but there's our Microsoft box. One, four, five, six, seven on this knit jersey. And I know I asked for some blue. This might be too, too much blue on blue happening. Too blue, too blue. This one. That's okay. If you wanted to make a cardigan to go over this. Um, this one too needed some blues. Pretty. This is just such a beautiful color. 
but I don't like wearing blue with denim. You know, it's too blue on blue. Um, so I always like to try and mix it up a little bit. If I make a blue t-shirt, then I want a different bottom to happen. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. This was the rayon linen, I think. Uh, one, four, one, six, zero. That's stunning together. Really, really pretty. Okay, this was one, four, five, six, seven again. Oh, I love this one. This is floral outline chambray shirting in light blue. I love this one, but like, I don't know. I've done it so many times. It reminds me a lot of um, the, that's why, that's why. The um, design the look dress that I did, the sew over it vintage shirt dress is pretty much just like this, but instead of being white and light blue, it's like a mid-tone blue and light blue lines. One, four, three, eight, one on this. Lightweight, chambray, no stretch, woven. It's got some stabilizer on it, I can feel it, but there it is with our drape. It will soften up a bunch. And the flower, the floral design is really modern, so I like that. Yeah. And one of these was more vanilla, this one. Oh, stop. The press is so good. So good. Figure it, figure out a way, guys. I can't make it all. I've already got too many ideas, but this looks great. This looks really, really good together. Hopefully, it is inspiring you, my excitement. Oh, those look so good. Okay, get your wheels turning on that. Did I give you this number? One, four, three, eight, one. Okay, now we have cotton modal jersey in denim. So this has the exact same name as the first one where the others have not. So maybe they're not the same, but they're very close. Yeah, now that I'm looking at them, maybe... No, I don't know. I don't know, I'd have to confirm with her. But these two have the same printed name. But they all have that nice weight to them. So I'm going to just whop them all in the same category. Um, this is the one called denim. So this is your denim color. And if you didn't like that other one with it, this looks just as good. Although, honestly, I don't know which one I prefer. I'll let you guys pick. This one's more muted, this one's more bright, but they definitely call out all of these blue colors. Mm, what else? Okay, now, oh look, we have a match to our other eyelet. Embroidered cotton eyelet in denim to go with this guy. So again, another great color blocking situation. They're both like muted. They both kind of, you know, fall into the same range on your color card, you know, like when you go to the paint, section they're gonna be like on the same row um and they're the exact same thing just different colors and blue and pink together that's kind of fun this one is one four four three five okay next we have i better keep all this organized we still have so many to go um and i've got such a mess you can't even tell i've done a good job of keeping like a little <laughs> area but like everywhere else there is stuff okay shibori dyed rayon poplin what okay so i told you that the tie dyeing was like the new thing so if you didn't feel like doing it yourself you can buy it and this is rayon poplin which i already established with these two was my favorite fabric and this is just really really pretty i love all the like tones of the blue. The dyeing is going to be like different across the entire length of the fabric. 
or I guess is it, I guess it's Shibori printed. So I don't know if it's a repeat pattern or not. That would be on the website listing for sure. But it's got pretty decent drape, you know, heavier for a lightweight fabric. And the number is 14501. And it's just really soft and just feels really good and feels beautiful. Love this. Okay, we've got another double gauze. This one's called Cornflower. Where did my other gauzes go? Are things falling on the floor? No. Darn, okay, well, either way, Cornflower. So, Cornflower is like a mid-tone blue, but it's like bright. It's like bright for a mid-tone. It almost looks a lot like that. Not exactly, but close. And how this is kind of like a bright blue, so is this one. It doesn't have any green in it though, which is what makes it different than like a teal, which has green in it. But I am just so confused as to where, oh, here they are. Here they are, I knew they were hiding. So here are double gauzes so far. Okay, this one is one, four, 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 one. Okay, now we have Soft wash tensile twill in corn flour. So here are our tensile twills for this spring. So pretty. So pretty. This color is like denim, but more saturated, I guess. One, four, five, two, zero. Oh, geez. There we go. Sorry, my center got off a little bit. There we go. Pretty, okay. Then we have, ooh, patchwork print polyester sheer. Look how cool that is. It's like uh, print mixing with all the work done for you already. So it's got a vanilla background and kind of like, Mm, I guess cornflower-esque, muted cornflower, I don't know. Um, it is a sheer, so you've got to consider that. But considering the McCall's spring collection, I mean, 90% of their dresses were um, made with stuff like this, it seemed. Lightweight, drapey, even sheer. You could underline it um, or just wear like a, I don't know, a tube dress? What do you call it? Spaghetti strap fitted dress underneath? Um, or just line part of it, but yeah, really drapey, lightweight, but it's definitely polyester, but the print is really cool. One, four, three, oh, six on this. That's pretty. That's pretty. Let me, mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I don't see anything. Even the vanilla is like more, more yellow than the vanilla that we've seen before. So and honestly, there's enough going on with this as it is. You just put on a sleeve and you are good to go. Okay, this one is spring floral rayon twill shirting. So these are tensile twill fabrics, not a shirting. So they're different. This is much lighter weight. This almost feels a little bit more brushed than this. Just feels still soft, but just not as, I don't know, it's not as, there's just a special feeling that this one has. I don't know how to explain it. And then this one doesn't have that, but it is really pretty. I love the super dark background. I think dark backgrounds are still having a moment. I love that they're adding in all these violets and purples to contrast with that. Really nice. So this could be used, you know, interchangeably with these, you know, you could make similar things with them, um, but it is lighter. And I think a little bit drapier. Yeah, a little bit. But really cool. I don't know that I've seen a rayon twill shirting before, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, it is one, four, three, six, eight. 
super soft. I love all the little colors in it too. The blue colors, we haven't really talked about those that much, but I mean, really, it's kind of like these. I don't love those together, but it's similar colors, these little blues in here. That's really cool. I like that. Rayon twill shirting. Nice. Okay. Now we have watercolor leaves textured rayon shirting in navy. Yeah, so this is giving me, imagine this, you know, a huge swatch of this fabric. It's reminding me a lot of like um, indigo dyeing, not shibori, like ecat kind of. It's a rayon. Wow. The texture is like, oh, I really wish you got, yeah, you can see right through here. It's kind of like a stripe almost, almost like if you had gauze, but it was just linear and not all over. Um, but it feels so soft, like so soft. Wow, that is really nice. You would want a skirt from this. Maybe one of those like big tiered skirts or even those like crazy pants from the Mokal Spring Collection. It would be really cool out of something like this. 14437. Wow, I can't get over the feeling of that. <laughs> Another pettable fabric. Okay. Soft washed linen blend and in indigo. So now we've got all of these. Yeah, this is looking a lot like chambray, but it's a linen. And you can really see the texture come through on this one too. 13871 on that. Beautiful shorts, um, pants. Dresses, I mean, anything that you'd make these other ones from. Just a slightly more wearable and just uh, simply because of the color on that one. Okay, stretch sateen, spring poppy stretch sateen in navy and mustard. So this one's more like, well, it's kind of like a mix between the other two that we've had. It's a little bit heavier weight, but doesn't have the super stretch that um, the stone one, remember this one that was like, whoa, on the stretch. Um, this is definitely lighter weight than this. You can tell like this one is like a pancake and this one's at least falling on itself. So a little bit more heavy weight, but really pretty. And because I know you're going to ask about mustard, that's what that looks like. It's a little bit more in the citron family. Well, I don't know. That's pretty accurate. I love the navy background with the blue. Yeah, that's too bright. Look at, um, oh, not that, not that. Uh, this, our linen. Look how cute those are together, right? But back to this. This also looks good. So if you wanted to make a skirt um, or a cardigan from this and a dress from this, all that makes sense. Pants from this and a top from this. Absolutely. Uh, more close fitting pants. Cigarette pants. No, pencil pants. Pencil pants. <laughs> Remember I was trying to make pencil pants a thing for a minute? Okay. Oh, the number on this is 14351 on that. We also have watercolor floral rayon crepe and navy and coral. So the background is navy, but honestly, guys, it's very dark navy, so almost black. And then all these beautiful pinks and reds that we've been talking about. There's a little bit of blue purple happening, but I don't know what happens over here. She's calling the color navy and coral, so I'm assuming not much of this. It's mostly, mostly these guys here. So our back to our gauze sweater knit, beautiful. Of course you could do the vanilla one, that matches. Okay, this one is one, four, three, six, seven. 
And again, rayon crepe. So remember our other rayon crepes, this one and this one, all the same. Okay. Now we have botanical floral stretch sateen in lavender and gray. Look how cool that is. That lavender is really something else. I know there are people out there who love their purple. So you guys should be like over the moon for this. Yeah, it's definitely more like, yeah, these are similar. Similar in weight, similar in stretch amounts. Um, but a gray background with some like vanilla, you know, print and then this purpley one. Vibrant, vibrant, bright lavender. Almost like an orchid, you know? One, four, five, three, two on this guy. I think that that would just be something that people, a print that people, everyone would like, but not many people would expect. I don't know. I feel like people would ask you a lot about whatever garment that you made from this. Like, where did you get that? Because this is a print they like, but that they haven't really seen a lot of places. You know what I mean? It's really interesting, that one. Okay. Oh, let's put them with my other settings over here. Now, this one's pretty. Ditzy Floral Rayon Crepe in Orchid and Orange. Look at that. So, Rayon Crepe again, just like these guys. Okay. But we've got this orange, these little itty bitty orange flowers, and then also these other ones that have like deeper purples in them. But the background is lavender which again is so unique. I don't know that we've done, I don't know that I've seen a lot of lavender backgrounds of anything. I love that. Again, all of those McCall's dresses, anything with a ruffle, a tear, any of that would be great out of a rayon crepe for sure. Very soft, you know, same great quality as the other crepes. One, four, three, five, eight on this. That color is so good. All right. Now we have Butterfly Collage Stretch Sateen in Lavender and Navy. And if I thought that these were lightweight, this is even more so. But look at the Butterfly Collage. Sorry, that was sunny. Excuse me, I'm trying to work. <laughs> um. I love butterflies, hence my little butterfly. I've worn this every single day for probably close to 10 years. I've never taken it off. Um, and I love stretch sateen and blue and navy. And they've even got this cornflower color mixed in here. We had this cornflower and we also had the gauze. That gauze keeps wanting to run away from me and I don't know why, here she is. Um, so like, you know, things could happen. These look really good together. But yeah, so like a lightweight stretch sateen with butterflies. I kind of need that, right? Oh man. Good thing there will be a sale when the collection launches. <laughs> so good. Yeah, that has to happen. I haven't made a fit and flare dress in so long. I kind of got tired of them, but I need this in my life. Okay, one, four, five, two, eight, but don't buy it all, okay? Save some for me. So pretty. All right, I think we only have like 20 left. Um, this one is soft washed linen in Orchid. It goes with all of our other soft washed linens. At the end, I'll show you all of these together. But here is the Orchid color. That is 13862. Really, really pretty. Did we have any? Um, maybe this. This is the shirting, remember? Not so much. This is a little too muted. Okay. Possibly come back to that. This is the Tencel Twill. So now we've got these four. How fun are these? And I know that she's got a ton of other colors of tinsel twill. These are probably just the new ones that they're adding. This one is called um, Orchid as well. 
sorry, I dropped some. Um, so, but this might, it's a little bit better, but not, not, not perfect. And that's what I'm looking for is perfect. So Orchid Tinsel Twill, the number is 14521. This is gorgeous. This is vine floral rayon crepe in taupe and fuchsia. Look how pretty that is. Maybe this is what I should make those pants from. The ruffle tiered pants or whatever they were from the McCall's collection. So, so, so good. I love these like hot pink and red together. And I think this is navy and a taupe background. Um, yeah, this is just a fun, again, it's like that little itty bitty print, kind of like this one, you know, where it's like small scale, um, but still really cute. I love like the dotted vines. That's really interesting. And it's your rayon crepe. So it feels good, feels soft. I mean, not super sheer but not totally see, um, opaque either. And what could we do? I mean, we have so many solids, but I don't think any of them are bright enough because these are like, these are like hot pink and red. You know, fuchsia, magenta. What did we have that was, I feel like something was called magenta at one point early on. I'm not seeing it now, but yeah, this is like more of a magenta purple. This is like hot pink fuchsia, and then this is like red. But of course you could just do like a subtle black or navy. It's like a dark, dark navy, I think. Yeah, dark, dark navy. So cute, 14539 on this one. And again, with our other rayon crepes, so many good rayon crepe options. Right? So fun. Okay, next up, this is nice. This is a rose floral rayon chalet in taupe and coral. This is the very first rayon chalet we've had, which is so surprising. We've had a lot of rayon crepes and rayons blended with linen and cotton and everything else. I think Sonny is stuck. Okay, he rescued himself. Um, elderly dogs, you guys, it is never a dull moment. Okay, so topin, no, topin coral, but look at all of this. Remember our terracottas? Look how pretty our terracottas, all of them. Um, this is the brushed linen. This is the rayon linen slub. Uh, um, God, oh, the terracotta dot. I mean, all of that, all of that wants to live together, right? So good. And this is Rayon Chalet. So it's super soft, super lightweight, super smooth, unlike the crepe, which has like a, you know, defined texture to it. Um, and the taupe color is really pretty, black background, but this is really the star of the show, all of this. This color here is close, but not exact. Honestly, this looked better, but it's not a knit. Um, but yeah, all those earth tones looked so, so good. How about this? I mean, come on. Sorry, I just shook the whole table. We need a, a rayon chalet dress and a cardigan or an oversized sweater tucked into a rayon chalet skirt stacked. This looks really beautiful together. This is it. Okay. One, four, three, six, two on this rayon chalet. Now we have a stretch floral rayon jersey in taupe and black. So we've got a rayon jersey, super lightweight, super drapey. This is more of like the clingy lightweight jerseys on like these that are a little bit more structured. This is like the, the super lightweight t-shirt, kind of like this. Remember when we talked about this one? This is similar to that. So this is black and taupe and white. Very stretchy, very lightweight, very clingy. One, four, five, nine, three on that. And again, with all of our taupes and terracottas and you know all these earth tones happening, I like this one a lot with it. 
T-shirt and pants. Yeah. Bibs and a T-shirt. Okay. Then we have, oh, this did look familiar. This is the gray version of the clip dot textured linen. Yeah, yeah. So you can probably see the texture a lot more on the gray than you could on the white, which is good. But those would be pretty together. That's like an easy intro into color blocking, right? You guys can handle that. The gray is really pretty. One, four, four, three, one on the number there. I love same print, different colors. I love that. So fun. All right, now we have brush stroke floral rayon crepe in black and gray. Black backgrounds are still here. We saw it with this one. Black and dark, you know, navy. Um, those kinds of things are still having a moment, even in spring. I know this might not strike you as like a springy color way with the black background in spring, it seems so dark, but if you do the right kind of design with a lot of ruffles or a lot of gathering or anything like that, it can be very springy. Also very nice for like a springtime wedding or graduation or any of those more like dress up events that you might have. So that's pretty, I like the grays in here too. One, four, three, six, six. And then we've got another black background. This one is sketch floral textured wall in black and white. And the sketch is just printed on. So it's like a subtle situation. But again, like with the sketches, kind of like this one and this one, and there was one more that I can't put my eyeballs on right now. But all of these like sketchy type things are, oh, was it this? Yeah. Um, are obviously having their own little trend as well. Like anything that looks like drawn. Please don't fall on the floor. You know what I mean? So here's the black version of that. And voile, since we haven't talked about it too, too much, is cotton. Usually this one, she doesn't say, oh, it's cotton and rayon blend. Cotton and rayon blend. Um, I think there's probably more cotton than rayon in here simply because it's not as soft as rayon can be. So I'm, I'm feeling more like cotton on this. There's no stretch to it. I mean, a little itty bitty bit that way, but not a lot. Um, more like a shirting, but it is lightweight. It is sheer. Um, so keep that in mind about voile. It's kind of like lawn. Lawn, voile are kind of all similar. One, four, five, eight, nine on this. And we've got our black and white clip dot. How fun is this? So we've also had a few clip dot situations happening. We've got these three solids and we've got our black and white. And then we've also got our white with the printed, let's turn them this way, with the printed um, floral. So all of those for a fun take. I love also, there's so many solids in this collection, um, which is really nice because that's something I've been really trying to focus on. Um, ramping up in my own wardrobe is having more solids. I've got so many like printed things, which are great, but I want some staples too. So that's that. This number is one, four, three, eight, zero. Okay, we'll just keep all those together. Then our pile is very small now. We've got a couple left. Scroll dot textured wall in black and white. Very graphic. Again, with the line drawing thing happening. One, four, five, seven, eight. Another wall, we just talked about it. Black background, we just talked about that. I mean. Yeah, that's fun. Fun, fun. And wall is so easy to wear and so breathable. It's really nice. Okay, and it's textured because uh, let's see if I can get it to show. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, right there. All of those like ribbon lines, that's what makes it textured. Cool. All right, our very last one, rose floral jer rayon jersey in black and pink. Black background, rose floral rayon jersey. So super stretchy. 
Um, more similar to the lightweight jerseys like this one and the other one that I don't know where I put. Um, but it's got all these pretty pinks and reds and greens in it again. So, oh, still keeping in with everything else that, you know, we've been talking about today. These are less less muted i mean this is more yeah this isn't gonna be right this is more coral and that's more pink but let's see what this looks like mm, no not a fan of that either i have to keep looking i have to keep looking but i do think that we had wow well, okay so i'm trying to wrap my head around like the overall situation here so like i said lots of really great florals um, sorry, lots of really great solids, lots of really great wardrobe builders, um, things to like make basics with and grow upon the wardrobe that you already have. And um, lots of the same fabric in different prints, which I really love. Um, here's double gauze, same thing. Remember these two single border prints. So there is just so much good happiness going on here. I just have to um, check my my wallet and figure out how I'm going to make all my ideas become a reality. But let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the collection. And also this video, as with every um, time we do one of these, kicks off the Style Maker Fabrics style tour. So you guys can see who's blogging, what days, and where you can go to find their blogs. People are making clothes with these exact fabrics and other ones that aren't here. Like both of the fabrics that I am using, neither one of them are on here. Um, so it's kind of fun that that's been kept a little bit of a secret. Um, actually, I know what Lori and Girls in the Garden is making and hers isn't in here either. So I wonder if she left out all of the um, style tour fabrics to keep those a surprise for all of you. So that gives you even more of a reason to tune in. If you love, um, looking at fabrics and seeing what's in trend for spring this year, then you're going to want to go check out all the blogs as well. So I will have a link or some more information in the description box about that. Please go check it out and follow along with the tour. My tour outfit will be live on two, Monday, I think Monday, the 23rd, whenever that is. So be sure to come back here for that. And that's gonna do it for me today. I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you soon, bye.